Hello students, this is Anitta Raj, your chemistry mentor. In this class, I shall teach you to write the IUPAC system of nomenclature of haloalkenes. Not wasting your time, let me start with the class by giving a clear rush up on the rules to be followed while naming a haloalkane in IUPAC system. After seeing all these rules, we shall work out some few examples so that you can get a clear cut idea of IUPAC system of nomenclature of haloalkanes. We shall see the rules for the IUPAC nomenclature students. See the first rule, select the longest chain with halogen atom. See for example, if uh, uh, this is the haloalkane, CH3, CH2, CH2, Cl and this is the halogen. See we should select the longest chain. This is the longest chain. Okay. And check the next rule. Number the chain with the least number to the halogen atom. See we should give numbers. See numbering should be in such a way that the least number should get uh, should be given to the uh, carbon atom which is holding the halogen. So numbering should be like this. 1, 2, 3. And the number, see the third rule, position of the halogen atom is denoted by a suitable Arabic numeral. See so Arabic numeral is 1, 2, 3, right? So the position of this halogen, position, see this chlorine atom, it is here. The position of the halogen should be denoted by a Arabic numeral. Understood students? Next rule, name of the halogens are written by prefixing, prefixing the words fluoro, chloro, chloro bromo, iodo. See, for example, we know the halogens like how many halogens are there? Chlor fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Is it not fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, right? Uh, and acetate. But uh, we will make use of all these halogens and these uh, halogens should be written as a prefix in front of the alkanes, okay? Since so, though this chlorine is present at the back, this uh, halogen's name should be written like if it is fluorine, fluoro. Chlorine means chloro, bromine means bromo and iodine means iodo as a prefix in front of the uh, alkanes. Okay. Next, see the next rule students. If multiple bond that is double or triple bond is present, give preference to the multiple bond with least number. For example, if suppose if there is a double bond here. Okay, if there is a double bond here and you should give a double bond or a triple bond, you should give preference to the double bond or the triple bond uh, though if you are having halogens. If you are having halogens uh, along with double bond or triple bond, first preference should be given to the double bond or the triple bond. So, numbering should start from the multiple bonds that is the double bond or the tri triple bond. Okay. If next one, next rule, if more than one same substituent is present, use di or tri. See, if, for example, if more than one substituent, that same substituent, that is if suppose, if here we are, we are, we are having chlorine here, if two or more chlorine is present in the same uh, compound, okay, if mo one more chlorine is substituted here, then you should write dichloro. Okay, the prefix should be like this. You should uh, fix the position. That is, if you are having one chlorine here and another chlorine in this carbon means, you should fix the prefix like 1,3-dichloro and then you should write the alkane name. Okay, we shall see the examples next. After seeing all these rules, we shall see the examples so that you can understand clearly all the rules. Okay, next, if more than one substituent is present, follow the alphabetical order. For example, if chlorine and fluorine is present here in this compound, just imagine. So, if, if so, you should give preference to the uh, alphabetical order. So, chlorine C is the first alphabet and next to fluorine. So, you should give first preference to chlorine and then to the fluorine. Okay. So, next, if the side chains are present, their names are mentioned in alphabetical order and the position by numerals. For example, along with this uh, uh, halogens, if for example, like a, a methyl group or a phenyl group okay uh, or a ethyl group okay c2h5 if these type of uh, side chains are present uh, along with this halogens in a uh, haloalkane then you should number uh, a number and the preference should be given to the halogens first and then the and according to the alphabetical order you should write okay so we shall see the examples now we should see some exercise so that you can understand all these rules clearly understood 
see the first example students ch3 ch2 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 i see here we shall uh, see the check the rules first so for what's the first rule fix the longest chain see here this along this is the chain right so we shall see check the uh, longest chain this is the longest chain next rule number the chain with least number to the halogens see we should number accordingly that uh, this halogen that is iodine should get the least number so we should number from here see if you are numbering from here 1 2 3 4 then the halogen will be getting number 4 but if you are numbering from here the halogen will be getting number 1 okay so you can number 1 2 3 4 okay next we should fix the position of the halogen uh, with a suitable arabic number obviously we have fixed the number is 1 okay next we should uh, uh, prefix the halogen before the name of the alkane what is the uh, what is the name we can give for this iodine iodo okay shall we write the name of the compound students see the position is 1 we, should, we are going to fix the prefix now 1 iodo 1 iodo what is the name of the alkane here see how many number of carbon atoms are here 1 2 3 4 that is methane ethane propane butane so this is 1 iodo butane understood students we shall see the next compound see here uh, ch2 double bond ch ch2 ch2 i see here we are having a halogen along with the double bond so here according to the first rule we should fix the longest chain so we have fixed the longest chain and we have fixed the longest chain. and then now we should give the number so we shall give the number according to rule number five okay what is rule number five if a multiple bond that is a double bond or a triple bond is here if a multiple bond double bond or triple bond we should give preference to the multiple bonds so numbering should be from this side okay not from this side so number one two three four okay so least number is given to the multiple bond now so we shall write the name of the compound okay how to write the name of the compound see uh, now while writing the name of the compound we should give preference to the halogens so the position is given as four so four hyphen iodo okay and then what is the name of the uh, alkane now one two three four right so it is butane okay and the double bond is also there so if it is butane and if you, you, you want to write like this but okay you should not write full name but uh, and then we should give the position of the double bond now the position is number one okay so but hyphen one hyphen see if it is a double bond you should write in okay if it is double bond you should write in if it is triple bond you should write as in the suffix should be in understood for double bond it is in for triple bond it is in so in here if it is in okay since it is a double bond we should write as in four iodo but one in we are giving position for the double bond also understood students we shall see the next one see here uh, here we are having a triple bond is it not here we are having a triple bond and also a halogen so we should give preference to the triple bond but uh, if you are numbering from this side if you are numbering from this side one two three four we'll get uh, two position two for the uh, double triple bond and position four for the halogen but if you are numbering from this side one two three four we are getting again the position number two for triple bond and position one for the halogen so it's better to number from this side okay so that you are giving importance for the halogen as well as the multiple bond because if you are writing from this side or from this side both the sides for the triple bond you are getting the same number that is number two okay so it's better to start from this side so that we can give importance for the halogens also okay so let us write the number now so one two three four okay now you write the name of the compound students so we shall fix the prefix now so one bromo okay one bromo how many number of carbon atoms are here four is it not so it is butane butane so but okay what is the position of the triple bond here it is two so hyphen 
two, okay, and then uh, you you want to put a hyphen. On how can you represent the triple bond? Already I have written. Is it not triple bond should be written as ein as a suffix, okay? So ein. Understood, students? We shall see the next set of compounds. See this compound, students. CH2. See, I have uh, uh, written like this CH2, CH2, CH. Okay. Here, two substituents are there, that is, two halogens, but they are of same type. This is not Br, Br. Two bromine atoms are there. So, same type of substituents. Here, you should follow rule number six. See, if same substituents are there, we should make use of the prefix di. If two, two same substituents, then we should make use of di. If same substituents are present thrice, we should make use of tri. If four or tetra, likewise, we should extend. Understood, students? So, we should make use of di or tri as a prefix in front of the alkanes. Okay. We shall number the compound now. See, if you are numbering from this side also, uh, this bromine will be getting number one and this will be getting number three. If you are writing from this side also the same one three so it's it's not not an issue you can write a number from any any side okay we are putting the number now one two three so write the uh, prefix students now uh, it is one comma three same substituent is it not bromine right so if if it is the same sub substituent you should write like this one comma three hyphen di bromo okay di bromo what is the name of the alkane students how many carbon atoms one two three is it not so three methane ethane propane then you should write propane there's no uh wait oh, propane okay there is no multiple bond double bond or triple bond so you don't want to bother you can directly write the name of the alkane okay next compound see the next compound students see ch3 ch br ch i ch cl ch3 see here we are having different types of uh, halogens okay it's not the same sub substituent like the previous one here we are having different types of substituents that is chlorine bromine iodine iodine in this case you should check the longest chain and then you should put the number so uh, it's not, uh, not not an issue you can write the number but here you want to check the alphabetical order which is the first one so bromine is it not bromine b so next comes chlorine c and next the last one is iodine so better you can number from this side so that bromine can get the uh, least number understood students we shall put the number now one two three four five so it is a it's a pentane right now we can fix the prefix how to fix the prefix write the write the uh, write the name of the compound so it's the second position is it not two hyphen bromo okay then what is the next one then four is it not chlorine we should give preference to chlorine because up next to b we have a b c c chlorine so next one is four hyphen chloro okay and what is the next one it is third position iodo 3 iodo okay iodo and then what is the name of the uh, nothing else is there we can write the name of the alkane it is 5 carbon uh, alkane so it is pentane okay pentane so this is the name of the common 2 bromo 4 chloro 3 iodo pentane understood students we shall see the next compound here see ch check the next one ch3 ch2 ch you are having a side chain okay again ch c2 h5 br you are having a halogen but along with that we are having two side chains now you are supposed to fix the longest chain see if you are choosing this as the longest chain how many carbon atoms are there one two three four four carbon atoms so it will be butane but if you are checking if you are taking this as the longest chain if you are check, taking this as the longest chain here already you are having two carbon atoms you can split this you can write c2h5 as ch2 ch3 okay you can split this and you can uh, extend the chain that is you can have a very long chain instead of having this as the longest chain so we'll write that again i'm, I'm going to write this compound okay i'm going to write this compound check this ch3 ch2 ch 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 br and here you are having ch this is a side chain 
and now I am going to split this. Okay. So how you can write CH2 CH3 ethyl group you can write like this. Now you see the uh, uh, longest chain students instead of having this as the longest chain we can have this as the longest chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it will be the longest chain and we can have this as the side chain and this as a substituent halogen. Okay, you hope you might have understood. Now we can number this. We will number this. Okay, how to number we shall start from here so that if you are numbering from this side, if this halogen will be getting the least number. Understood students? So we shall number from this side. So this is 3. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 understood students now we can name the compound so this is one this is one uh, uh, side chain and this is a substituent now write the name of the compound students 3 this is 3 third position is it not 3 bromo okay and then 4 this is a methyl group is it not so yeah, methyl m stands next to b is it not so 4 methyl what is the uh, name of the uh, alkane? This is a 6 carbon atom alkane, is it not? So, it is hexane. Okay. So, 3 bromo, 4 methyl hexane. Understood students? We shall see the next set of compounds. See this compound students? CH3, C, CH2, CHI, C6H5. A phenyl group is here and, and also two uh, side chains, is it not? So, uh, we should fix the longest chain now. So, this is a side, this one is this, this one, okay. We shall fix the uh, number now. We shall put the number from this side because halogens will be getting the least number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. Now, we shall write the name of the compound. 1 iodo, 1 iodo, then two substituents are the same substituents, is it not in the third position. So, you should write like this. 3 comma 3 2 substituents so twice you should write 3 comma 3 dimethyl okay this is the prefix dimethyl this is ch3 is a methyl group and then come to the next one phenyl because uh, p phenyl means p phenyl so the the word letter p comes next to methyl that's why we are fixing the that compound next okay so phenmethyl dimethyl 1 phenyl what is the name of the alkane 1 2 3 4 is it not it is butane understood students okay so 1 iodo methyl phenyl butane see here i comes the first alphabetical order then e methyl and then phenyl that's why we have written like this see the next compound See the next compound students CH3, C, CH2, Cl. Two side chains are there C2H5, C2H5. I think we can split this again just like the previous one. Okay. So, we will write this compound again. Right. CH3. I am going to write the compound again. CH3, C, C2H5, CH2, Cl. And we can split this one so that ch2 ch3 okay see because why we are splitting see if you are numbering this compound from here 1 2 3 so only three carbon atoms will be there in the longest chain but instead if you are splitting this we will have a different numbering because we will be having four carbon atoms 1 2 3 4 okay so we will be getting a longest chain so now we should number from this side because so, so that the halogen will be getting the least number okay so we will write the number from here this side 1 2 3 4 so it is a 4 carbon atom al uh, alkane okay uh, for alkane with 4 carbon atoms now we write the name of the compound students it is the first position chlorine so we will we'll write chlorine first then comes the second uh, substitute or that is the side chain is ethyl so e comes next to c okay so first preference should be given to chlorine according to the alphabetical order so that is the rule right so we will write the name of the compound now one chloro what is the name of this compound one chloro in the second position we are having ethyl group so two ethyl okay and then again in the second position you are having one more 
a side chain because the longest chain is this okay the longest chain is this so you are having this as a side chain this as a side chain so you should give that also right the name of that a side chain also so the second position two methyl okay m comes next to ethyl so we are writing here ethyl and then uh, so methyl and then the name of the hydrocarbon it is butane okay the name of the hydrocarbon is butane understood students this is the name answer one chloro two ethyl two methyl butane we shall see the next one so you might uh, might not this is a different type okay see here we are give, we have given a skeleton okay and we shall rewrite this so that you can understand clearly i'll write in this position i'll write c and i'll show it again you can okay you can understand clearly h see here here we are having a, a carbon so this is carbon and hydrogen double bond and here again there is a uh, here we are having one more carbon okay so c ch3 okay and then here again this is another carbon right this is another carbon c h c l and here we have ch3 okay students now we start to number numbering see here if you are start we, we should start from here because we should give importance for this multiple bond though we are having chlorine here we are we should give multi, importance for the multiple bond double bond so the numbering should be from this side 1 2 3 4 okay this is the longest chain understood students we cannot have this one as the longest chain because if you are having this one then it will be only what what say three uh, three uh, uh, three carbon alkanes okay but but we can have like this 1 2 3 4 so start numbering 1 2 3 4 okay now this is the side chain this is a side chain and you are having a uh, halogen here we can write the name of this compound now okay so what is we should give preference for the chlorine first 3 chloro is it not 3 chloro because chlorine is in the third position 3 chloro and then second position methyl is there so 2 methyl okay 2 methyl and then what is the name of the hydrocarbon 1 2 3 4 so it's a four it's a four carbon atom so butane okay so butane and a double bond is also there that is present in the first position first carbon you are having a double bond so you should write like this butane that is but hyphen 1 we should give the position of the double bond 1 in understood students this is the name of the compound so 3 chloro 2 methyl but 1 in understood students we shall see the next set of compounds see this compound students ch3 h ch3 ch3 hcl same type which we saw the, in the previous one but here in this position we were having hydrogen but here we are having methyl group so we'll write the compound again so that you can understand clearly ch3 here we'll have carbon h double bond c ch3 so the bond here we are having carbon again so c h ch3 cl now you start to number so how to number this one here we are having double bond so this should be given importance uh, so but we should we shouldn't start from here because already we are having a methyl group here so we, we are having a carbon we should start from here so that we'll be getting the longest chain 1 2 3 4 5 understood so this is the longest chain right we cannot have this as the longest chain if you are having this as the longest chain then it will be four carbon but if you are taking this as the longest chain then you'll have five carbon atoms okay so start to number this is 1 this is 2 3 4 5 okay. okay shall we write the name of the compound now we should give preference to the chlorine first so the name of the compound is 4 chloro okay and then 3 methyl this is 3 methyl okay so 3 methyl then what is the next name there's no other substituent right so you can directly write the name of the uh, uh, um, alkene now 
so what is the name of the alkene since it is 5 it is pentene right 5 pentane so it is pentene double bond so you can write like this pent what is the position of the double bond it is second carbon so hyphen 2 ene understood students so 2 ene since it is a double bond we should write the suffix x ene so this is the name of the compound we shall see the next compound now ch3 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 cbr okay only the substituent bromine is there but now we are we are supposed to chance, uh, fix the longest chain if you are fixing if you want to give this number one for this halogen then the longest chain will be a two car two carbon atom alkane one two okay but if you are having this as the longest chain see here one two three then it, it, it will be better if you are having this as the longest chain because that's the first rule we should fix the longest chain with the functional group so in this chain there is a functional group so it's better to fix the number as like 1 2 3 okay instead of having 1 2 if you are fixing this you'll be having only two carbon atoms but if you are fixing this as the longest chain you'll have three carbon atoms now fix this 1 2 3 okay now we can write the name of the compound fix the prefix students it is second position so 2 bromo okay 2 bromo then what's the name of the compound 2 bromo 2 methyl is it another another uh, a side chain is also there 2 methyl 2 methyl what is the name of the alkane 1 2 3 methane ethane propane propane okay so this is the name of the compound 2 bromo 2 methyl propane okay now check the last one the last compound okay you start numbering see here there is a triple bond is it not so you should give importance for the multiple bond so that this multiple bond should get the least number though we are having a halogen multiple bond should get the least number now write the uh, numbering 1 2 3 4 5 okay so we shall start a naming what is the name of the compound students it is the fourth we, while naming you should give importance for the halogens first okay so 4 iodo okay then 4 methyl how many carbon atoms are there in the alkanes 1 2 3 4 5 5 it's a pentane and a triple bond in the second position is it not so pentane means pent hyphen in the second position we are having a triple bond so hyphen second position in okay so triple bond should be represented as in so you might have understood students we shall meet in the next session with a good explanation for sn1 and sn2 reaction mechanism in haloalkanes Thanks for watching.